day showers in some areas. That's right. One of those areas Dana, that's going to pick up a chance for some showers will be in Monument as we take a look at our Woodmore Drive camera. We go to the southwest at 7, and temperatures are fairly mild, at least in relative terms, 58 degrees. Dry Lakes Fire and Rescue Camera, though, will be picking up a few showers falling on the lens and all around that camera as we go through the afternoon. That's where we're going to be seeing that travel impact along Interstate 25 with some scattered showers and storms around between the springs and Denver. Also, Lyman to Minturn, some scattered storms, which includes northern portions of Colorado Springs, perhaps even areas off to the northeast of town like Falcon. And we'll see breezy conditions between Pueblo and Lamar along Highway 50 as we go through the afternoon hours as well. Skyscan satellite and radar, a few clouds around and a few showers beginning to pop up now as you head west of Denver along 70 over towards the Continental Divide and points westward from there. Notice it's all falling in the wet form, not the wintry form, even at the highest elevations. Even though you will see perhaps some changing over later on this evening, we're going to see warm enough temperatures where most of what we see will fall as rain, not necessarily snow. Changing it over now, showing us the projected satellite radar. We call it the SkyCast and give you an idea of what's going to happen as we go through the rest of the afternoon. We'll begin to see a chance for some of those showers, mainly over portions of Park County as we go through 3 o'clock, but that'll spill its way into Teller County as well. And that's really the case by 6 o'clock. It's all due to a weak front, which is making its way through the region. You can see the clouds associated with this front as it makes its way from northwest to southeast. Continue to see the surface portion of that front push through the area and eventually make its way down towards the Raton Pass. But it will also help to trigger some heavier showers and thunderstorms off to our northeast over areas along I-76 as you head into portions of Nebraska and Kansas along 76 and eventually along 80 as well as we go through the rest of the afternoon. There we could see some severe thunderstorms with large hail damage winds and even isolated tornadoes. As we go through our Tuesday afternoon skycast, here's the view at 4 o'clock. We notice that as we pick up the kids from school, head home from our work plans, we continue to see a chance for some showers. This time it's rain and snow as you head west and over towards the Continental Divide towards the Eisenhower Tunnel along 70. As we go through our Tuesday evening, most of what we see goes away. Storm tracking for today and tonight calls for possibilities for severe hail and damaging winds in the areas highlighted in the green. Small possibilities, but they are there. This is something that we'll be tracking for you later on this afternoon. Lows tonight sitting in the mid to upper 40s. There will be some lower 50s around too. 45 for the Springs, 47 in Pueblo, 45 in Canyon City. And the seven-day forecast calls for high temperatures to be in the upper 60s and lower 70s for the first three days and then stay there on Friday as well. Chance for showers and storms back in the forecast again on Wednesday all the way through Friday, but for now the Memorial Day weekend looks okay. We'll pick up another chance for showers and storms on the holiday itself. Pueblo, 83, 82, and 75 for the first three days, and then it's 70s and 80s throughout the rest of the forecast, too. I'm optimistic, and I'll call for no chance for showers and storms on Saturday and Sunday, but the small possibility is there maybe for an isolated pop-up shower or two. 81 on Tuesday, 77 on Wednesday, 72 on Thursday, and then temperatures are sitting in the 70s and 80s throughout the rest of the forecast in Canyon City. And in Teller County, we're sitting in the mid-60s Tuesday and again on Wednesday, then it's upper 50s on Thursday, middle 50s on Friday before it does warm back up and dry out just a little bit as we go through the weekend. Memorial Day itself again featuring a 20% shot for showers and storms, high temperatures pushing 70 degrees, even in Woodland Park. So if you can maybe duck and dodge those showers and storms on Memorial Day itself, pretty good day for the cookouts. Oh, yeah. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Jay. You're welcome.